All right, so uh, hopefully you've had a chance to kind of, um, or had a chance to look at the cardiac lecture, and then in addition, um, seen the IVC uh, video talking about respiratory variation. We're going to see an example here of a patient that had a collapsed IVC and then supplemental uh, uh, views after fluids. I would always recommend, and this patient had it too, that a, a complete cardiac ultrasound be performed um, before looking at the IVC. The IVC is, is limited data. Um, and you need to know if the heart can tolerate fluids regardless of it of what it looks like and then uh, we want to then ask our questions you know is the IVC collapsed and then um, is there variability with respirations in this example the patient had a cardiac ultrasound first uh, which showed that it had good function um, and then uh, there was some supplemental uh, IVC views obtained after uh, some fluids were given so we see here, uh, here's our liver, here's our hepatic vein coming down, here's our portal vein, and this little bugger right here is our IVC, and this patient's breathing a little fast, so it doesn't really relax, open up. It does open up a little bit, but it's pretty slit-like, pretty collapsible. Those walls are kissing on those respirations. So after a liter of fluids, that's what the IVC began to look like. It was uh, more distended, still had some uh, variability. Um, and the blood pressure on this patient improved after a liter of fluids and then a second liter of fluids was given and this is what we have so even more distended a uh, little less uh, variation uh, patient was doing well blood pressure improved significantly so in this case you know I'm gonna go back to uh, the initial and we're gonna go ahead and see the initial uh, IVC once again we can see that it's it's collapsible uh, very slit like and then once again liter of fluids we see uh, more distended still has variation and then this patient was supported even further still has variation not quite as much maybe only 50 percent at this point um, but was clearly uh, a little volume depleted and uh, responded well to fluids so hopefully that's helpful to give you an idea of what what you'd want to do when you go back and look at the IVC but make sure that you first do a full cardiac ultrasound, make sure that their um, heart could tolerate additional fluids. And then with that slit like IVC, uh, if it, you know, if, if volume depletion is a concern for a patient's presenting complaint, uh, just definitely give them fluids and then you can monitor your progress by doing repeat IVC views. You don't always need to go back and do the full cardiac exam unless something significantly changes. But um, uh, just looking back at the IVC can support, you know, as your fluid's working. And if I saw an IVC here at the end with, you know, I would stop giving fluids at this point. You've probably uh, done what you can with fluids here um, as far as CVP support. Uh, if you have other modalities to measure, you know, fluid responsiveness, then you could continue those. But uh, this patient uh, did well by receiving the fluids and, and following the IVC collapsibility. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let us know if you have any uh, suggestions or comments of uh, other videos we can include. Thanks.